Hello all, Moonchild here. I hope that everyone is doing well. So, what am I doing today? Well, it's February. And you know what February means? It means hearts, lots of hearts, Valentine treats, things like that. So, today is going to be two of my favorite things put together. Macadamia nuts and white chocolate. Bubbing. They taste so good together. So, what I'm making today are little macadamia white chocolate chip heart cookies. So, to get started, I guess I should tell you the ingredients first. Alright, we have two cups of almond flour. I have a pinch of salt, use a little bit of vanilla, half a cup of the Shock Zero white chocolate chips, and I have a quarter cup of Lakanto. And I'm going to taste my batter to decide if a quart, quarter cup is, is sweet enough. I don't want them too sweet. I have one egg in this bowl that I've whisked up quarter teaspoon of baking powder and 1.5 ounces of mayonnaise and right here I have a quarter cup of chopped up macadamia nuts so the first thing I'm going to do is put my wet ingredients in the bowl and I'm going to start with my egg which is just one egg not really at room temperature I need to grab a napkin it's only been sitting out for maybe five minutes. Okay. Now my 1.5 ounces of mayonnaise. Alright. Make sure I didn't get all that. And now we're going to add the dry ingredients. Let's get this a quick little mix here. Two cups of almond flour or almond meal, whatever you like to call it. I think one, the meal maybe has some of the skins of the almonds still in it. Alright, now while I have the almond meal, almond flour, listen to me now. <laughs> I'm just going to add a teaspoon of my vanilla and give that a mix. Just a little mix. Now this is not a um, roll out the dough kind of cookie. I mean it could be, but I'm using I'm not I'm not gonna roll it out. I find rolling out almond dough is not that much fun. Alright, now before I get that mixing too much, my quarter cup of Lakanto, quarter teaspoon of baking powder. hope I said that right earlier. I don't know. <laughs> you know how it is. You, you get going in your head, you know, and things just come out faster or not fast enough. A pinch of salt. Now I'm going to mix this up again. Do -do -do. And I just love the flavors of macadamia nuts and white chocolate chips. It was a favorite when I was a traditional eater. Now we've got a good cookie dough consistency. Now we're going to put in our Chalk Zero white chips. And if you haven't tried these, these are really good. And our quarter cup of macadamia nuts. Now I'm going to switch over to my metal spoon here because I want to mix it in really good. But as I was saying, if you haven't tried the Chalk Zero white chocolate chips, you're missing out because they're really good. And their white chocolate products are delicious. I just tried them for the first time a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago. I don't know. I lose count, but they're really good. All right, so I want to go in with my hands and mix this up a little bit. So I need to put on my little glove and just mix it up. Mix in the dough. I hit my cover here. Now you don't have to use a full one third of 
white chocolate chips. I just wanted to make sure that I got a lot in there. Because I love white chocolate chips. And the macadamia. Together. They go well. Whoops. Alright. So. Got this going good here. It's like a big giant cookie ball. You know. Saturated with nuts and chocolate. Can you see that? See? Go. Alright. So. Now what I'm going to do is get my cookie scoop if it's supposed to be if it's in here and the one I like to use is not so I'll use my backup scooper so I did spray my little heart liners my heart silicone pan here with olive oil so now I'm just going to take a scoop and place it in the heart I kind of want half scoops here, so I'm not going to fill it up, fill it up, fill it up. Listen to me, oh my gosh. I want half scoops. I'm going to fill these, and then after, I'm going to go through, and then I'll press down the dough. So I'm not quite, I'm just going to use my finger to show you that it's, it's not quite full. It's just, you know, it's like a little half. Alright, All right, so I'm going to... Fill these up, and I'll show you what they look like before I pop them in the oven. Stay tuned, and thanks for watching today. I appreciate it. So, I have the cookie dough all pressed into my silicone mold, like this. These are going to bake at 350 anywhere from 7 to 12 minutes. You want to keep an eye on them, because they are smaller, and everyone's oven temperatures run different. Not quite a half a scoop. Or not quite a full scoop. Just press them in there. That's it. So I'm going to put them in the oven and then I'll finish off with the remaining dough and then I will show you the end result. Stay tuned. I appreciate it so much. Thanks all. So I brought the cookies over to the camera because if I tried to tilt it, they would all slide off. So this is the back side of the cookies. And these are the front side. They're so cute. Look at these little hearts. They're just adorable. All right, now I'm going to show you what they look like if you don't have the mold. So, stay tuned. So, I just wanted to show you up close because, you know, this platter, you know, tilting it is just really too hard. So. Here they are. They're so cute, these little hearts. And, you know, two of my favorite loves together, macadamia white chocolate. Mm. So if you don't have, you know, the heart molds, you can still make them. You just put them on your parchment paper and they look like this. And they got a nice little texture inside. I don't know if you can see that or not. So I will try one for you and let you know how they taste. And I tasted my batter, and I had the right amount of sugar. So make sure you do that. That way you can add more um, if it's not sweet enough for you. So here we go. I'm going to go in for the little darker one, and I can see plenty of um, macadamia nut pieces in it. They're just so cute. Look at my heart. Mmm. Crunch. This is so good. So good. And I actually had patience this time. I let them sit in the mold for about three minutes. And then I just flipped it over on the parchment paper. And then they, they all came out. It was lined up really cool. I should have done it on the camera so you could see it. These are so good. Mm -hmm. Yum. Mm. That's a little cookie. So let me take a piece of the one that I broke. And I will taste it. I'm pretty sure it's going to taste the same. 12 minutes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This is so good. And this might be dangerous for me. White chocolate, macadamia nuts, platter full of cookies. 
Yeah, I'm going to have to say, okay, you name two, and that's it. Wait till tomorrow. So good. So good and so cute. So, February, you know, hearts, Valentine's. So, I'll have another one next Sunday. Um, probably pink and yellow, something like that. Or maybe just yellow. I don't know. So, I'm kind of sweet for sweet Sundays. And plus, you know, February Valentine's Day. So thanks for watching today. I appreciate it so much wherever you are. Um, I hope I didn't seem a little wonky today. Um, I had an allergy attack this morning and I had to take two types of medication for it. So if I seem a little wonky, I apologize or my eyes seem weird. It's just the allergies. I'm not sick. I just, the allergies are crazy. I, I have them all year round. It's ridiculous. But anyway, that's it for today. So until next time.